Hey guys, I'm back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how can we have dynamic or different tab bar icons for selected tab and unselected tab. Okay, so when in a tab bar in dot and mouse shell app, when that particular tab item is selected, then it should show a different icon and when it is not selected, it should show a different icon. So the most common use case might be let's say we have this home icon so let's say if the home tab is not selected then we'll show this icon and when home tab is selected then we might want to show the this different icon okay so for this application i'm going to use this box icons you can have any image whatever image you want to so for me let's download these images so for example let's use this home and home so this is home.png we can have then for the selected one we'll use this selected so no not direct download this png download so direct download downloads it as svg but we need png one we can use svg actually but let's stick to png and here for let's use one more user image so let's say this is the user and this user and this user will be selected one so this is the normal user download png and then this one is the selected user png now i'm going to uh, rename these images because in dot and maui for these images there there is this requirement that name should be lower case without any special characters so we should have we underscore is allowed okay so i'm going to rename all these Images. 22 I'm going to create a .NET MAUI app. Next, let's say hmm, what should be uh, tab bar icons. Maybe let's say dynamic tab bar icons MAUI. Next, .NET 8. Yes, let's create this project. So I have this home home underscore selected dot png user and user underscore selected dot png okay now let's quickly create two pages here or maybe one page when we already have that main page i'll create one more page new item dot net maui content page xaml here let's say profile page and now let's go to app shell and here we'll simply create a tab bar by default it has this main page for this i'll add a tab bar inside tab bar i'm going to have this shell content and then let's paste it one more time for our second the title would be profile and the page this is this profile page which we just created and this route we are going to follow the same convention that page name and page route these are in sync for main page also this is the same case right now if i save everything and if I try to run it on Android emulator, I don't know if you guys are facing the same issue or not. What happens? This Visual Studio sometimes it just shows Android emulator in Android emulator, but I have emulator already running. So for this, I need to close this Visual Studio and open it again. Then it will show the the emulator here. Let me try to do that. And before that, let me increase the font size i don't know if you guys are able to see it this so i have just created pasted the images created this profile page.xaml page and just wrap the shell content with tab bar and added one more shell content for profile page that is all what i have done so far let me close the visual studio and open it again so that it shows the emulator here so I have closed Visual Studio, open it again. Let's see if this time it is showing the simulator. Let's try to run it. So this is first time I'm running this project. So it will take a while. So I'll simply pause it and I'll continue when this builds and opens up in a minute. Okay, app is here. We can see these two tabs. So let's add icons here. So with this shell content we have one property we can set this icon 
So here we can say home dot png, and for the second one, for this we can set a profile. What was that? User dot png, right? Yes, and we can see these changing. Cool. Now what do we want when I'm changing it? When I'm selecting this tab, it should show a different icon. Okay that home underscore selected icon and for this profile it should show that different icon so this is what we want to achieve in this so for this we need to somehow uh, there is no property to change this icon directly what we can do we can simply check when this tab is the tab selection is changing at that time we can dynamically get the current tab item and we can change the image for this we need to write some c sharp code and in c sharp code we need to access this tab bar for this i am simply going to use this x name equals i am going to give it a name so maybe let's say bottom tab bar this name is up to you you can name it whatever you want save it and let's maybe stop it go to the app shell.xaml.cs in here now because this is a shell app we have couple of events here which we can override and one of these is on navigating and then one of these is override on navigated so this on navigating is basically we are uh, going away from this current tab so this is basically from from the current tab to new tab and this on navigated this is to this tab from previous tab okay so this is to and this is from that means we need to set the selected here we will set selected icon here no unselected i mean and here we will set selected icon we will set selected icon here okay both of these are going to be triggered and we will simply check what is the current uh, tab which we are uh, going away from and this in this we will check what is the current tab we are coming to so this should be selected and this should be unselected so we'll swap the images here okay now right now i'm having only two you might have multiple tab items so for this what i generally do i simply create a dictionary so maybe i'll create it here i'll say maybe private static dictionary of string this will be a unique identifier for this and the most common use case could be just use this route and this route is actually the page name only we mostly use this only so we'll use this route as a key and then for the value what is the uh, unselected icon and what is the selected icon so we need two values for each tab route so for this i'm going to simply use this uh, value tuple here so i'll say string selected icon and then again one more string for unselected icon or maybe we can simply say image source image source and string these are implicitly convertible so we can use this image source unselected icon okay and here we can name it maybe tab bar icons map I'm going to define values for this. The values I'll do new dictionary of this. And here I'll simply set the key. It will be name of main page. So if this is the main page, for this, the values I'm going to have first one, the selected icon. So for this, 
selected icon is home underscore selected dot png and the unselected icon is home dot png i'll copy this for the second one and the second one is profile page for this we have user underscore selected and user save it and now we are good our tab bar icons map is ready now we can use this now let's come here in on navigating here we have the tab bar right what was that name bottom tab bar here we will have quickly check if we have this bottom tab bar this is not null to be sure that this is there we are here okay. on this bottom tab bar we have a current item property which is the current tab in this case this is going to be the currently selected tab which we are leaving on this current item we have one more direct property of current item so right now with this current item this is cell section but the icon we are setting this is on shell content so this shell section this is kind of this complete section we could say on this we have again this current item property which is shell content now we have access to this shell content item and on this we have this icon property which we can modify on this we could simply say dot icon and we can modify this but now we need to figure out that which shell content is this one which tab item is this one on the basis of that only we will be able to use this thing so here we can say word route equals now with this current item we have access to this shell content and in this we have this route property so we can get this route now we have this route now on the basis of this route we can actually get the selected icon and unselected icon from this tab bar icons all right where we'll simply say if uh, tab bar icons map dot try get value we have this route out var and this icon this is actually icons map so two icons selected and unselected all right now if we see this icons is a value tuple we can deconstruct it now here again we can access to this shell content or maybe we can simply say here for tab bar item equals this thing and route could be tab bar item dot route like this and now here we could simply say tab bar item dot icon equals now because here we should set unselected icons so from this icons value tuple we'll simply say unselected icon now we are good now the same exercise we'll do inside this on navigated we'll just swap this unselected we'll change this to selected icon so here we are selecting this so for this one this current item is going to be the current tab item which we are leaving and for this on navigated this will be the current item will be the new tab which we are selecting let's save it and let's try to run it it is coming okay home profile if you see now this is a different item this icon and this is the non selected so these icons are being changed all right oh all right so that's all for this video please like this video share this video subscribe my channel i'll be back soon with some other cool video till then bye bye happy coding